Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the third news from today's newspaper, front page Dawn. Since Chief Minister a complaint to Prime Minister about the short supply of gas by Tahar Siddiqui. Karachi, fearing a serious crisis in the near future and the outward situation in the province, especially in Karachi, due to the persistent gas shortage, since the Chief Minister Sayyid Murad Ali Shah on Monday demanded that Prime Minister Imran Khan direct the Petroleum Division of the Federal Energy Ministry to immediately allocate at least 1,500 to 1,600 mm CFD, million cubic feet a day gas to the province. In a letter to the Prime Minister, he wrote that the callous and negligent attitude of the federal government hits the people of sin hardest this winter. I therefore fear an untoward situation in the province, especially in the city of Karachi, he apprehended. Inviting the Prime Minister's attention to the extremely short supply of the natural gas to the consumers in the province, Mr. Shah said, it was unfortunate that the province, which produced over 68% of the total natural gas produced in the country, had been facing a situation where homes were without gas to cook food and industries were shutting down because of the huge shortage and low gas pressure. Result, resultantly, and the uh, daily wage workers are uh, losing their daily earnings and the transport is among to stand, is coming to standstill. He stated, adding that there was no justification for the people of Sindh to face gas shortage in the presence of clearly uh, worded Article 158 of the Constitution that said the province in which a wellhead is situated and shall have precedence over other parts of Pakistan in meeting the requirements from that wellhead. Arbitrary, arbitrary allocation rejected. The chief minister reminded the PM Khan that the scene produced about 2,500 to 2,600 mmCFD gas, and the people of the province had a first right into the natural resources. This is a specific article with regards to priority of requirement of natural gas. It is an irony in that the Sui Southern Gas Company Limited has reserved quota has a reserved has reserved a quota of only 900 to 1,000 mm CFD for people of sin, whereas constrained demand is over 1,500 until 1,600 mm mm CFD. He added. Mr. Shah further wrote, government of the sin that does not recognize the federal government's unilateral and arbitrary allocation of gas produced from sin on SNGPL or onto power plants and fertilizer plants within the geographical boundaries of sin or Punjab. He said that the domestic consumers of Sindh had the first and foremost right over gas produced in Sindh, which was now suffering from shortage of gas as well as um, 12 to 18 hour long electricity load shedding on a daily basis. It is therefore illegal to allocate natural gas to other sectors 
when domestic and indigenous industrial sectors need it the most. He added, the Chief Minister stated, I therefore request you to please direct the Ministry of Energy Petroleum Division to immediately revise the gas allocation formula and allocate at least 1500 to 1600 mm CFD system. System gas to consumers in Sindh with first priority to domestic consumers and then to industrial commercial power plants distributing electricity. Locally and uh, other provinces and other province based sectors. If the current uh, volatile situation is not handled with care, then I fear a worst crisis in the near future. Earlier on December 23, the Chief Minister had directed the Provincial Energy Department to prepare the case of Sindh under Article 158 of the Constitution so that he could take it up with the federal government. So I'm presiding over, over a meeting with Energy Minister Kim Tial Sheikh and Energy Secretary Tariq Shah. The Chief Minister had observed that the Constitution uh, guaranteed a provision of natural gas to the people of the province from where it was being produced. The energy minister, while briefing the chief minister, said that the federal government had formulated a defective policy under which natural gas was given to other provinces at the cost of the people of Sindh. He said the domestic, industrial, and the commercial consumers of the province were suffering a lot, and the federal government must be apprised, apprised about the grave situation. In the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel, press the bell button, we get the press from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.